Hi and welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can make custom design that you can later engrave with your Nijoy Master. Without further ado, let's get into it! In order to do this you will need to install a software called Inkscape that's a vectorial drawing software and some plugins that goes along with it and to follow the steps that I'm about to show you. All right, so let's jump right into Inkscape and let's see. Here we are on my screen and the software that you're seeing is the home screen of uh, Inkscape. You will need to download it and that's uh, a free software that you can uh, download by typing Inkscape in any browser and that's basically the website so you can come over here download select your version and you're good to go um, so uh, the only thing is if you are not if you don't know the software of course there will be some uh, learning curve but uh, in a matter of minutes you can actually learn uh, quite a few things simple things that you can do and you can uh, get started with it so once we install the software uh, the software doesn't work right away uh, for the laser engraving and that's because we'll need to extract or export the design in a particular format which is .nc format which is a type of uh, g-code uh, file format and to do so you will need to install or actually I should say to add a plugin uh, I say add plugin because it's not an installation type of plugin. So I will put uh, in the description below a link to uh, my post where you will be able to download uh, both files that you will need for this. And once you have them, uh, you will save them somewhere. Uh, in my case, I've created already. This is ready for my website, Inkscape Laser Plugin. So these are the two files. So these two files, you have to copy them by Control C or Command C if you are on a Mac. Then you have to go over to this PC, C drive, uh, program file. And then you will go down to Inkscape, share, extension, and Control V or Command V, you will paste this in. In my case, I'm going to skip the files because I've already uh, plugged them in. So once this is done, you will need to close and open the software if it was already open. Be aware, however, that this is going to work uh, only with the Inkscape version uh, 92.4. If you want to see the version of your Inkscape, you go over the help about Inkscape. Let me drag this over on my other screen and that's the 0.92 version. Here you can see the precise version, which uh, is going to accept these plugins. Uh, if you happen to download the latest version, which is now available on their website, the 1.0 something, that's actually not going to work and it returns some kind of error. Uh, I know this because on my other computer, I happen to install the latest version and I'm having trouble with it. However, uh, there is a workaround and you can use another software uh, to, to still use the Nijia machine. So for now, we'll stick to this version. On, on my upcoming videos, I will show you how to use another software that connects directly to the Nijia uh, master machine. Okay, so once you're on Inkscape, uh, you have here over the side some of the commands so for example you might want uh, so hold the control and scroll up with the uh, mouse wheel so that you can zoom in to the page so here you can drag across and that's basically a rectangle okay and there are all sort of things that you can do with it now in order to select the objects, these are called objects, you will need to select this uh, pointer tool on the left uh, ribbon. 
so you can select it and here on the bottom by selecting the color you're changing the uh, feel of the co of the object by shift and clicking the color you are changing the so let me put back this to white so that you can have a look to what I'm actually doing so for some reason that's not working and that's most probably I feel a stroke so uh, stroke paint okay uh, maybe the thickness let me have a look let me put it just all right now we have it so now when we come over here we'll down the shift key and left click we are changing the outline or the border actually I should say of this object anyway that's a very simple thing uh, there are plenty of tutorial on YouTube that you can watch to get start to get started but uh, I'm planning also to make some tutorial in the future uh, so what we are going to do today I'm going to print uh, the name of my channel on a cutting board so I'll get rid of this by dragging and clicking the Del key so I will take the text tool, click anywhere. So I will write middle, middle room workshop. Okay. Then you can go over to the select tool, double click on it and select it all. Here you can, there are all bunch of things that you can do. So I'll crank this up to 20 millimeter high actually this is 20 point height and then I can change the font okay when you're happy with it let's maybe make it let's capitalize everything actually middle room workshop okay now once you're happy with it you will need to uh, click the select tool drag across the object so that you can select it and then you have to come over to the path and select the first object to path alternatively there are shortcut key that uh, you might use you might want to use okay so once you're done with it then you come over to the extensions and find laser engraver okay then laser okay uh, then here you can give a file name so middle room workshop I will just abbreviate it under preferences uh, this is actually uh, another thing that um, uh, you will need to do and that's because uh, the the files that you pasted into the extension folder uh, they're actually fight on uh, script so I could go inside and change uh, the folder where we can save our project but I, re I really didn't want to do that I just didn't want to mess up with that so what you will need to do once again is to come over to the C and to create a new folder and to call it output and as you can see my folder is somewhere over here there we go so you see that I already have a .nc file that's from my previous uh, engraving. So I'll close this up. So I will say apply. Okay. That's gonna take some time. And okay. Now we can go over to the same folder. Uh, let's see what happened. Uh, yeah you have to be on the laser uh, tab in order to actually uh, save I'm not sure why they're working this way but laser working please all right that's kind of showing you some burning area which we really don't care at the moment so when we come over here you see we have this MRW if I tap I have a previewer so I can see that how the G code looks like uh, now, uh, with this method that I'm just showing you, uh, 
uh, you will not need to set any power options or burning time uh, beforehand because that's something that you will do through the Neja software. So let's now uh, call the Neja software. Neja. Let's connect the device. Let's wait for it. There we go. Now we are on the Neje application. This is the home uh, page of the software. So over to the control tab where we are right now, uh, you can uh, right click then to say load the G code. G code file dot NC is the extension that uh, you want to get. And over here I can select my MRW. We say open and now you can see here that the object has been imported now this is the time for you to set up the dimensions so depending on how uh, tall or how wide you want it to be uh, that will work that will help a lot so in my case I would like to set the um, the height to let's say uh, 15 millimeters and just to see how much it takes all right that's gonna be a 300 millimeters size out of range obviously okay uh, so let's in this case settle let me measure up the board that I'm willing to use okay let's try eventually with 120 that's gonna be a six millimeter so six millimeter should be acceptable all right so I'm good with it now okay before to actually start engraving it is uh, good practice to prepare your uh, engraving surface and that's basically also the way that you can uh, uh, you can precisely locate your engravings or cutting in my case I'm going to engrave so I'm now going to show you that I've been uh, uh, basically marking where I want the engravings to be I will now click on the alright I'll click OK in the first place and then I'll click preview so now I'm going to see exactly where the laser is going to uh, show me the boundary so that I can actually align my working piece with a laser. All right. All right. So when you're happy with it, you can just say stop. Then you can set up your once again laser power and uh, burning time. Now I already figure out that for boot and for what I want to do that's actually okay so I'm now going to say uh, okay play or barn and that's going to start As you've seen, the process is not that hard. Uh, the only thing that you need is uh, really to uh, get used to Inkscape if you haven't ever used it before. Uh, but um, yeah, there will be some learning curve and depending on your degree 
of experience with uh, vectorial softwares and uh, with Inkscape if you already know it uh, this shouldn't take a long time as you've seen uh, it takes like few minutes just to learn uh, some of the simplest tools like a rectangle and some of the other tools that you will find there on the ribbon and the text so it's not going to be that hard if your intention is to do simple things with it of course uh, you may want to watch some tutorials and uh, uh, there are plenty of tutorials out there on the YouTube I'm also thinking in the future to release some tutorials so that uh, you can guys uh, get started with it and if you're interested just put uh, uh, some comment below and the other thing you really need to do is to ensure that you are using uh, the version 92.04 and earlier and as I told you on my other computer I've installed the latest version which is redesigned as a little bit uh, cooler uh, interface and that's actually not working it returns some error however there is some work around but the workaround uh, will uh, require you to install an additional software which directly will control uh, the Nege Master uh, laser engraver. For the time being, I hope that you, you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, click the thumb up button below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Ciao for now!